What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right guys, the throat's still not 100%, still got that little bit of an itch. Don't have any coughs, no sneezes, none of that, but just that little bit of an itch. Now, it has a tendency to do that when you deal with the public and you got to talk all day long, so I can get away with 10, 15 minute videos, not too bad. We'll see what happens come Friday. All right guys, we're at Saul 2671. Now we're going to look at Neville Thompson's Gigapan. This one's actually pretty cool. And what I'm going to show you is, you know, every now and then I'll tell you guys to look out for like little pieces of white that stick out of rocks. And you can see where they try to paint this whole thing out, but somehow they skip these. This is a perfect example of it right here. Not to mention, I'm going to show you some rocks that are not quite rocks. You'll see what I mean. Let's get into that. Here's the pan right here. It is the MSL, which is the Mars Science Laboratory or the Curiosity Rover. And you can see it's a 2671 ML. Now, again, uh, thanks to Neville Thompson for this. Now, guys, we can pan out of this thing. It's actually pretty cool. What we're going to be looking at right here is on the right-hand side. And you can see right here. We're just going to back way out. Oh, did that a little wrong, but there we go. Uh, you can see right here, it, is, it just keeps going around and around and around. It's a 360. Uh, what we're going to be looking at is this so-called butte up here. Uh, and we may actually do, be doing a second part to this. We'll have to see what happens, right? Um, all right. So just to give you guys also the idea, you can see the actual rover is, in fact, in the, in the photo. So we're not talking a huge distance away here, but the fact is we can see what looks like parts that are intelligently made. All right. Let's get into that. All right. First, we're going to start off with the rocks I told you about, which has these little pieces sticking out. And like I said, they stick out because you can tell the difference. One's white and the rocks themselves, supposed rocks, are like a brownish, whatever the hell they decide to color them. Okay, so let's, let me show you the first one right here. Notice right here, let me get this right here. Right there in the middle of the screen, you got a little piece of white there and one just below it. You also have another piece right up here. Another little piece sticking right out. See that? I'll try to put anything we talk about right in the middle of the screen for you guys, all right? In case you can't see the cursor. So right here in the middle, a little white piece sticking right out right there. And I'm going to show you guys this up close. I'm going to take you into Photoshop and show you this a little bit closer. Right here in the middle of the screen, right there. In fact, you can still see a little bit of the white behind this manipulation. That's right, folks. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? Now, there's another piece here. Let's go over to here. And I'll show you this a lot closer. Right here in the middle... Right there, you can see a bit of white right there at the top and what looks like a square with a round circle in there. Do you see that? That is actually pretty interesting. So let me show you that real quick in Photoshop just to give you guys an idea. Let's just zoom right into it over here. So we can really have a look at this, but it will break apart a little bit. Right there, let's go ahead and full enhance right here. We can do a couple of stages here. What I try to do is get this piece out right here. You can see it actually runs right there and then stops. So we get these two white pieces sticking out. Let's enhance that. And you can see these parts that are sticking out. There's something up here. These two pieces here. Check this out. There's something in this photo. You guys see that? You can see it right here. This would be really big now. There's a little bit of white there, a little bit of white right here, see that? and this white piece here. When you bring this out, that's what you end up getting, guys. There's something in there. There's no doubt in my mind. See that? Here's the, the dull color. And what we did is we took off the shit color and brought it out. And check that out. It's right there, guys. Smack dab in the photo. This is also pretty cool. Here's that piece right there. right there in the middle of the screen. Let's go ahead and put it center. Something going across, and there's something that appears to be doing this, and there's a small round circle in there. So you guys, when you get the pan, when you get the link, which I'll give you, check it out, use your magnifier. Try not to zoom in too much, because it will break apart on you. And this is a perfect example. I'm trying not to do that if we can help it, right? Okay, and I tried to get anything out that would be also in there. And again, we can see that just straight piece, and like I said, well, guys, we're only seeing the little bits and pieces of this, man. It's just like, it's so small that we're barely even seeing this. See that? 
But look, you can see right here, obfuscation. They're trying to lay right over this thing. And this is probably the clearest section right here. That is that wild or what? Even with the regular photo, here's the standard photo. But you can see the manipulation they're trying to hide. It looked like they only just put like a small layer, not as much hair. Okay. All right. Again, pay attention to the small bits that are sticking out. And the reason why these things could be yellow in real nature, who the hell knows? The point is, is they're going to be different than the color of rocks. And that's the whole key. Um, this is the reason why I say look for the lighter parts or the white parts. Because that's what we're looking for, right? Right there. And you can see, again, you can see that thing sticking out. Right there. You can see those pieces. But you can see where they've actually used a manipulation to take these things out. There you go. And these other pieces here. All right. Let's get back into this. I want to show you something else now. It's pretty interesting. Let's go down here just a little bit. And it should be right around right here. Tell me, guys, what kind of rock does this? And I'm going to show you this in Photoshop real quick. Look at the, the pattern on this thing. It's like a panel more than anything. Has one line. Has another line. And it goes down this way. So we got two horizontal lines. We got this designed plate kind of thing on this. And we got the vertical line right there. Let me show you that up close. Okay. This one's pretty cool. Check that out. Looks like it's doing this here. Nice and smooth. Comes back down. Looks like it does this. It goes under. Goes like this. But check out these horizontal lines doing this. One going down like this. Let's enhance this thing fully. Check this out, guys. Is that really a rock? Hmm. I don't think so. And like I said, I'm just bringing the lines out, guys. That's all I'm doing. Just bringing the lines out. Bringing out the real color, too, to boot, I might add. And not to mention, there are a couple of the small little things that are questionable. Like this over here. Just weird little features on these so-called rocks. Let's go ahead and move that around. Move that. Something in the ground here. Not sure what to make of this thing. I doubt that's a rock, considering we're looking at this one here, and clearly that's not a rock. I don't know of any natural rocks to do that, guys. What do you guys think of that? There it is. Right there. All right, here's another wild one I think you guys will like. Now, I always tell you guys to look for the rocks and look at them carefully. Again, just like this one here, where it looks like it has this weird side panel on it and has these two horizontal lines and one vertical. Again, does that look natural to you? Okay, here's another one. Now, I'm going to show you this rock, and I'm going to say, do you guys see it? I'm going to zoom in, see if you guys can spot this right off the bat. Okay, we're looking at this area right here, and this is the rock we're looking at. Now, we do see this vertical piece sticking up. I'm not sure what that is. Either a slab. I don't think it's a slab. I think it's something intelligently made, and it's been made to look like a rock. But there's something much more to it. Watch this. I'm going to see if you guys can see it first this way. All right. Do you guys see anything wild or weird about that rock? Other than that vertical piece sticking up. Again, it's all about really checking this out. In fact, it's actually two rocks. We can look at this one here on the right and this one on the left. Tell me if you guys see anything different that stands out. Because a lot of people, you know, well, not people that are usually on this channel, but a lot of people, oh, man, these are just rocks. You know why? They're not paying attention to what's really in this photo. And if you haven't spotted it yet, you will. Watch this. Now, I looked at this thing and I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. All right. Here's the two rocks. I turned it a little bit there. You can see I've rotated it clockwise by 33 degrees. Now, this way it's straight on. You guys can see this pretty straight. Let me just back up just a hair bit. We can get them both in the photo here. Okay. Do you guys see anything again in this photo? I noticed these things right off the bat. One was kind of hidden. In fact, the one, this one here was kind of hidden at first. The other one, not so much. 
Again, now let's brighten this up and see what we can find. Do you guys see it yet? On either rock. Okay. Notice, I'm just going to circle the pots right here. This right here. And this right here. Do you see it yet? Look carefully at the actual details. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can really zoom in. I'm going to stop with this right rock. You guys see it yet? Okay. Now let's bring the exposure up, see if we can find it. You guys see it now? There you go. Look how smooth this looks. It's like it's a doorway or some kind of opening in this thing. See that? Right there. Nice, smooth radius going down. You can see something doing this. And whatever the hell this thing is underneath this rock, that's why I don't think it's a rock at all. If you look at that piece, look at around it like it's been, like it's got like this weird pixelation around it, right? You know why? Because guys, that is not, that is not legit, meaning it's been covered up, it's been manipulated. So if you look carefully, see it come down, see it come down. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why does it appear to be going down a little further and that's where it stops? In other words, through the rock. That's right, guys, this is not a rock. Also, check these pieces out here. Let's go in a little further. There's one here. Two. Three. Look like four little openings or details, darker details right there. One, two, three, four. And you've got what looks like a smaller pipe or something or some kind of detail. It looks, it looks like this canister kind of thing. See that? Now, again, we have this weird opening type thing, and it has something going down, and I can't make out what the rest of this is. So, is this some kind of object, intelligently made object, buried in this sand? Again, let's brighten it up. Check that out. Now, I did dock it in here a little bit just to give it the contrast so you guys can see this a little bit better. Now, this is what it should look like uh, with just the exposure up, right? You can still see that line pretty prominent without having to do that. I only did it just to make sure we can actually see it a little bit better. Okay, now, let's jump into the other one. Now, this has been enhanced. Check this out. You guys see that? See that? What the hell does that? Okay, check out that. What kind of object or rock would, it, would have something like that? And you can see where they really went to town is, but you can see what looks like two pieces going into this. I'm not sure what to make of this. Right here, they got a cutoff line. This has all been darkened out, but this white piece appears to be rectangular or square, whatever, and has this piece on top, but it actually goes down below this. Look at this right here. Notice how these pieces go down here. So this thing is bigger than that. It goes past into this blue area. We've got other objects like this. What appears to have this rectangular slot with something oval in it. This small piece here. Not sure what to make of this. But notice the way this thing is block. Let's go to the original. Because I want to show you this here without it being too bright. Notice the way this right here, it just kind of runs this way. It's like a straight block. But again, what I think is wild is the shape of this said object. The way it comes like this and goes down like this. Now, question would be, is this a manipulation? They just kind of did that just to kind of get rid of it. Or is it the design of said object? See that? I don't know, guys. You guys be the judge. I'm seeing something here. I'm seeing many things in here that clearly do not look natural. And again, you can see these pieces right here. Looks like a piece going like this. Let's bring that way down again. Right there. You can see this piece is actually going down past. Almost looks like a small pipe type thing right there sticking down. Whatever that is. But you guys tell me. There it is. And again, 
this piece here. Look under the rocks. It's not so much people think, oh, oh, oh the rocks, man, they're just rocks. Look carefully. And again, I can I can just bring this way down. And you can still see that. Doing this. Okay? So it is, in fact, in the photo. It is there. There's no doubt. All right, guys, tell me what you see down there. As always, drop your comments and thoughts below. Like I said, guys, I see destruction. I see ruins. I see things scattered about. And this is a perfect gigapan to show what I've been saying all along. You got these little pieces that they, it's almost like they, they go over it, they decorate it, whatever they got to do, manipulate, obfuscate, whatever they're doing. And oops, we left out a couple pieces. Now, I think that's by accident. Now, the other thing, the other white piece on the other side, you can clearly see it's a little bit bigger than the little white pieces I showed you. And then we get them two other rocks. Well, you got the, the, the rock in the middle. Clearly, there's some kind of panel or something on that thing. It doesn't look natural. And then you got the two rocks I just showed you. Again, look at the details, not just at the rock, underneath the rock, because they're being dressed over to look like rocks. And the other piece had that weird design panel kind of thing on it. What are we looking at here, guys? As always, like I said, just comment and throw your thoughts below. As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you guys in the next one.